Hi, my YouTube family. Today, I will present you a unique and special video. In this video, I will briefly describe about a leader who dedicated for his motherland, Manipur. Hizam Irabot was born on 30 September 1896 and he is died on 26 September 1951. He was popularly known as Zanoneta Hizam Irabo. He was a politician and social activist from Manipur. He fought against the social evils of the society. He later was jailed for supporting Second Nupilan, the Second Women War, in 1939. In the June July 1948 election, to the Manipur Assembly, Irabot won from the Ulau constituency. Irabot was born to Hizam Ibungohal Singh and Songtham Ningol Thambal Ngambi at Hizam Laikai, which has now been replaced by the first Manipuri rifles. After his father's death, he moved to his mother to stay with his aunt at Moirankom Sawaizam. He did his school life at Johnston Higher Secondary School in Fal, Manipur up to class 7. He founded two student bodies Bal Sangha and Satra In 1913, he went to Dhaka with his cousin Sawaizam Somendra and was admitted to Pugos High School to study till class 9. In 1915, he dropped out due to insufficient funds and went to Agatala. Later that year, he came back to Manipur. He found that his mother had died. He stayed with his friend in Wangkai called Maibam Samden, who worked in the court of King Sorsan. It was then that he came in good relation with the royal family. He married the king's daughter, Kondonsana. He was then appointed a member of the Sadar Panchai. Originally known as the Nikhil Manipuri Hindu Mahasabha, the Nikhil Manipuri Mahasabha was founded under the patronage of Maharaja Surasan Singh, who was the president of the organization. All works were carried out by the Hizam Irabot, who was the vice president. Under Irabot's guidance, four sessions were held. In the last one at Singha, during the Maharaj Surajan's absence, Irabot changed the name of the Sabha by dropping Hindu of the original name. He transformed it into a political party. Maharaja Sorsan sent a warning to Irabot on the events taking place in his absence. Irabot and Ilampam Tompok, a clerk at the Revenue Department, resigned from the Sadar Panchayat. They outlined a legislature which was submitted to the King and Manipur State Darbar. It was rejected. This phase could be termed as the social reformer phase. In 1939, when the second Nupilan broke out in Manipur, a section of the NMM called the Prajas Milan split of the original party to join the struggle. It about headed this party and gave a speech at the Polish land in 1940. He was arrested and deported to the Silhet jail in Bangladesh present days. At the jail, he met Indian communist leaders like Hemanga Biswas and Jyotimoy Nandi. He was greatly influenced by them Irabot was released from the Silhet jail on 20 March 1943. But 
he was not permitted to enter Manipur. He stayed in Kasar district to work among the Manipuri peasants and also among the non-Manipuri ex garden workers. There he joined the Kisan movements. He kept in touch with the communist leaders and attended the first party congress of the Communist Party of India that was held at Bombay from 23 May to 1st June 1943 as a special invitee from Kassar. In Kassar, he organized cultural squads known as Swadesh Ganedal, which was later on incorporated in the Indian People's Theatre Association. He led a delegation from Kassar to the All India Kisan Sabha session held at Netrakona in Miman Singh district of Bengal. In March 1944, he went to Beswada, Katakwal village to join the Kisan conference and stayed there, he stayed for some time at the Bengal Communist Party office. The same year, he went to Silet to join the annual session of the Sarma Valley Provision Kisan Sabha. Irabot was detained as a security prisoner in Silsar District Jail with effect from 15 September 1944. On the charge, of, charge that he was a communist, he was released on 10 January 1945. After more than Five years of political exile, Irabot was given permission to stay in Manipur for a week. From 2nd to 10th September 1945, his request for an extension of stay in Manipur was denied. He came back to Kassar and carried out peasants' movement. He was appointed General Secretary of the Kassar District Kisan Sabha and the President of the Surma Valley Kisan Sabha. He was instrumental in the establishment of the Assam Kisan Sabha, the CPI Assam Provincial Committee and Assam Students Federation. He contested in the 1946 election to the Assam Provincial Legislature Assembly from Silsar constituency as a CPI candidate, but lost by a narrow margin. Irabot was finally permitted to enter Manipur March, uh, in March 1946. In Manipur, he organized a new party called Manipur Praja Mandal in April 1946. He attended two, tests, two sessions of the Nikhil Manipuri Mahasabha before he was expelled from the membership of the working committee of the Mahasabha on the charge of being a member of the Communist Party of India. He attended the second Congress of the CPI held at Kolkata from 28 February to 6 March 1948. The first Community Party of Manipur was formed on 23 August 1948. In the June July 1948 election to the Manipur Assembly, Irabot contested and won under from the Ulau constituency as a Krishak Sabha candidate. Before the inauguration of the Assembly, Irabot, on behalf of the Manipur Praja Sangha and Manipur Krishak Sabha, calls a meeting at the MDU Hall on 21st September 1948 to protest against the formations of Prabhasal Pradesh, composed of Manipur, Tripura, Kassar and Lusai Hills. A scuffle took place at Dombum when the Manipur State Police prevented a group of citizens who came to attend the meeting in his police officer was killed on the spot. The Manipur State Council declared the Manipur Praja Sangha and Manipur Krishak Sabha 
unlawful. The state officials declined to constitute an inquiry committee to investigate the Pungtumbum incident. Irabot could not attend the first meeting of the Manipur Legislative Assembly held on 18 October 1948 because of the warrant against him. Irabot formed an underground communist party of the Manipur on 29 October 1948 and carried out armed struggle against the government. He died on 26 September 1951 at the foothills of the Ango Hills.